the hell? What's up guys, it's Kanye West 215 here with a card review. Now I feel obligated to make this review because this card has been getting a lot of hype leading up to Cosmo Blazer and I feel like it's very appropriate to do a card review on it. The card is Breakthrough Skill. Now the only way we can really evaluate this card is by comparing it to cards such as Phoenix Chain and Effect Bailer. So let's start off with the Sexy Effect Bailer. Now I'm not really sure if I should be calling this card sexy exactly because... Um, I'm not really sure if this is a male or female, to be honest with you. Um, uh, it has long hair, and it has wings. Like, I mean, which, what freaking guy has wings besides Shining Angel? You know, that guy's a pussy. And where's the titties, man? Where's the titty? Huh? Huh? Okay, be before I get way too, uh, off topic here, just, uh, drop a comment if you know if this is a female or a male. Uh, so, but yes, that would be the good. Anyways, getting on to the analysis here. Um, it's a light target, so, you know, pretty. it's pretty light, you know, it's just a piece of paper, essentially. So it has good synergy with Chaos decks, and also it's a tuner, so it opens up all those synchro plays that make this card so sexy. One advantage of Effect Bailer over Breakthrough Skill and Phoenix Chain is that you can use it first turn, and that is very important because it stops those first turn plays, such as Rescue Rabbit and Magician Shark. Because having to have to deal with Lagia and Dolka turn 1 is just horrible. And same with, you know, having to have to deal with Forexy's monsters. It, it just sucks. The only downside I would say of Effect Bailer is that you can only use it during your opponent's turn. So, uh, yes. Now I want to talk about that card that is notorious for chaining them fiends, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, look at that poor fiend, friggin' chained. Oh my god. Anyways, um, yes, this card is very good because not only does it stop effects, it also stops the monster from attacking. And the downside, I would say, is that it's a continuous trap card. Now, that could be good because it continuously negates the um, monster's effect and also uh, stops it from attacking, but it's also very susceptible to MST. And with a format like right now and probably next format too where Triple MST is running around, this card is um, particularly susceptible. So now let's talk about Breakthrough Skill, um, the card that's notorious for pissing off that Dolka as you can see. You know I mean, look at that Dolka, damn yo. He looks so mad. Holy shit, big boy. Okay, anyways, um, I'm just going to read you the effect. Actually, you know what? Asian boy's going to read. Target one face up effect monster your opponent control. Negate the effect of the opponent face up monster until the end of the turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target one face up effect monster your opponent control. Negate that target effect until the end of this turn! So sexy! Now, the first effect of this card is just pretty much like an effect builder, except it's a little worse because it's a trap and it can get negated. But the second effect is what makes it very good. Um, so if this card's in your grave, you can banish it and it can really get rid of problematic cards. Keep in mind, you can only activate this effect during your turn. So basically, it's good against lockdown cards such as um, Thunder King, uh, Fossil Dyna, Christia, Dolka, Lagia. I consider all these cards lockdown cards. Um, they really hinder your play, such as, uh, you know, Thunder King, for example. Uh, if you have Rescue Rabbit or something in hand, this card would say no. But Breakthrough Skill say no to Thunder King. So no, no equals yes. Okay, that did not make much sense. But yeah, this card is also very good against other cards, such as, like, Cataster, for example. And maybe even a Spirit Reaper, if you really need to run over the Spirit Reaper. Uh, you can just activate this card's effect, and you can attack over a Spirit Reaper. So yeah, this card is pretty versatile, and it has a lot of potential. Of course, it's also susceptible to macro. Uh, you can't activate a second effect if it's banished, of course. <laughs> and yeah, you know, this card might be seeing more play than as the format progresses, or I mean, the next format, or the formats to come. Um, so yeah, this card, it has a lot of potential. Um, as of now, pe most people are running Effect Veiler, and you know, some decks are running Fiendish Chain as well. But this is one card to um, look after, and you know you guys can start testing it. It could be seeing a lot more play um, in the next format, or maybe the formats uh, after that. 
Um, it has a lot of potential. Um, as of now, people are running Effect Veilers, and some decks are still running Phoenix Chain as well. And, you know, right now, we can all start testing Breakthrough Skill and make that Dolka pissed, you know what I mean? So, uh, yes. Tell me if you guys would ever consider running this card or citing this card. And, you know, be the sexy. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. <laughs>